hi guys thank you so much for tuning in welcome to my channel and in today's video we are going to talk about first john verses seven and eight and let's dive right into it okay so we have been talking about first john and just walking scripture to scripture and just getting more of an understanding of what is he talking about in in these scriptures okay so verse seven and eight says this but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one, one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Verse 8. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Again, he is peeling back layers because in my last video we you know we we were just trying to discuss what does it mean to actually walk in the light or walk in the darkness and he is peeling back more layers okay this is what it means if we walk in the light as he is in the light so just like i spoke about in the last video i said in john 8 jesus talked about if you are walking with me you are not walking in darkness but you are walking in light okay now he's re this person is repeating that in verse seven but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another so in the previous uh verses one through four we talked about the fellowship you know walking with god walking with jesus we talked a little bit about that and now it's more like okay if you agree with this fellowship but you are still walking in darkness you still patterning your life after the choices that does not agree with god and then you are deceiving yourself okay now it says this we have fellowship with one another and the blood of jesus his son cleanses us from all sin now i love that because walking in the light doesn't take away the sin okay in verse 9 goes more deeper into the whole sin part again just like i said you know this is peeling back layers like an onion seven and eight says means this if a man is walking in the light he is in god's family if a man is not walking in the light but walking in darkness he does not have anything in common with god and that is what david gusek said in his commentary and i actually love that and in verse seven when it says and the blood of jesus his son cleanses us from all sin that word cleanses is a pre is a present tense is said in the present tense like a verb and you can even be cleansed today basically and so this is not a if i walk in the light and have fellowship with him while walking in the light patterning my life after jesus back in 2009 then you know it was it was good then but what I love about the scripture is it's a continuing, it's a continuing pattern that you are doing. So as I'm walking in the light, I'm conti continuing and confessing my sin. Again, this person does that a lot. They set it up, they'll say a sentence, and then the next verse will explain more about what is what what this person is talking about. Like I said, it's like peeling. It's like peeling and building all at the same time that this verse is doing. So again, he's setting it up. If we walk in the light, he is in the light. If we have fellowship with one another, then the blood of Jesus cleanses us. Verse eight, if we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Yes, we have heard the message. Yes, we have accepted the message, but there is still a practice of living out the lifestyle and walking in the light of God. So there's a difference with a temporary walking in darkness versus a willingness to keep walking in the darkness okay so again verses 9 and 10 goes even more deeper in that and it's almost like vague right it's almost vague and i and i can't even explain more of it unless i go into the next scripture and that's what i love about uh, this passage of scripture because it's like he's again he says one thing and then it is explained continuously more the more you read okay so again um tomorrow we're going to talk about what that looks like okay walking in darkness and the practicality of 
temporarily walking in darkness and what that looks like as a Christian, as someone who is walking in the light and have fellowship with God and we're living a lifestyle that pleases God. Cause that's ultimately what matters and not our flesh and pleasing our flesh. Okay. Amen. All right. So again, we, like I said, we're going to talk about verses nine and 10 tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you guys think about these verses and thank you guys so much.